Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim from jupiterjim.com and in this particular video I'm going to show you how to submit your blog site URL or web address to Google Webmaster Tools. Uh, before I do that I'd like to let you know that I'm using on for this demonstration blog which is Jim's Max Jixel marketing team I'm using WordPress version 3.1.3 .3, along with the thesis theme version 1.8.1 and you do need to be using some version of the thesis theme for WordPress in order to follow along with this video tutorial. Okay, I'm going to click on this tab here in my Google Chrome browser. Uh, this is the Wikipedia site, and this is their explanation of the Google Webmaster Tools. It's just a short one-page thingy. Um, I'm going to read these two lines here. It says that Google Webmaster Tools is a no-charge web service by Google for webmasters, or in your case, a blogmaster. It allows webmasters and blogmasters to check indexing status and to optimize visibility of their websites. And if you don't know what optimize visibility means, I just mouse over. Over it, you can see the little tooltip pop up there it says search engine optimization and you know that's a good thing for your blog it can do a lot it says here that uh, Google has tools that let webmasters do several different things at list first and foremost it lets you submit a Google sitemap and I'm going to show you how to do that in the next video in this video we're just going to submit the URL or uniform resource locator for your particular blog okay so back to the blog this is the blog and I'm gonna click on this tab and this brings me to the dashboard of my blog where I have already logged in okay first thing I'm gonna do Scroll down here, go under Settings, and go to General. This is just a WordPress thing. And where it says WordPress address URL, you can put the www dot in front of your web address or not. It doesn't matter, but just be consistent and make sure that you're submitting the proper URL into Google Webmaster Tools. Down here you can see it says site address. Enter the address here if you want your site homepage to be different from the directory you installed WordPress. If you're not sure what that means exactly, just click on this link and that will explain it to you. I'm going to go back up here, click in there, Control A to select all, Control C to copy. Click here to deselect. Now I'm going to go into Google Webmaster Tools. So I'm just going to open up Google, type in Google Webmaster Tools. This is the easy way to find it instead of trying to remember the address for Google Webmaster Tools. Just type it in, and I can see already the link has popped up here. Click there. It's going to ask me to log in. I'm going to use my Gmail account. And since I'm using Gmail, I don't need to put the at gmail.com. I'm going to put in the password here. Click. Okay, so I'm going to go down here, click Add a Site. I'm going to press Control V to paste. Control V, there it is. And you can put, I like to put the trailing slash because I was trained to do that as a webmaster in my certification course. You do not need to put the trailing slash there after your name. Then you're going to click the Continue button. And it says you've got to verify ownership. There are several ways to prove to Google that you own this particular website or blog site. Okay, so I'm going to click here where it says Alternate Methods. Uh, add a meta tag to your site's homepage, link to your Google Analytics account, add a DNS record to your domain's configuration. Now, in a previous video, I showed you, actually created and showed you how to create a Google Analytics account. So I could just click this right here, and that would be the easiest thing for me to do. Um, what I am going to do is click on option number one, because I don't want to assume that you already have a Google Analytics account. What I'm going to do is just highlight this. I am going to press Control C to copy. I'm going to go back to the dashboard of my blog. I'm going to go down here where it says Thesis. I'm going to go to Site Options. 
And where it says additional scripts, I'm going to put this in there. And it's because you can see right here that it says it will add your scripts to your document head section. So I'm just going to click here, press Control V, Control Victor in a PC, Command V in a Mac. I'm going to just click to the left to deselect. Click that big green Save button. Okay, now we're going to go back to the Google Webmaster Tools Central, and we're going to click Verify. Now, it says right up here that verification failed. You know what? It just occurred to me why this is not verifying. It says up here verification failed, so I'm going to go back into the dashboard. I'm going to scroll all the way down to where it says privacy, which is right under settings. Go to privacy. And I need to allow the search engines to find this particular blog, and I was blocking Google from finding this blog. So I'm going to save the changes. Then I'm going to go back to Google Webmaster, and I'm going to pause the video just a little bit because it's still going to take a little bit time for a Google to find my site and then verify. Okay, let me try this again. I'm going to go down here and click on the Verify button. And it worked perfectly, as you can see. So right down here is where you're going to submit a sitemap. And in another video, I'm going to show you how to create that sitemap and then submit it. It's very easy. And you can see some other sections that will tell you over the course of time. You should wait at least 24 hours. It will let you know some of the keywords people use to find your site, errors if there are, are, are pages that uh, have incorrect links and things like that. Go back to your blog, and that's basically all there is. Hope this was helpful. Please share this on Facebook, on Twitter. Leave your comments on my blog. And thank you so much for all your positive feedback and support. Take care and have a great day.